the glamour and gloss that always surrounds Wrexham has been tarnished a little of late after three straight league defeats and they've scored just one goal in those games but they still remain fifth in League Two. Sutton by contrast are seven points from safety at the bottom and haven't won since Boxing Day. The Sutton boss Steve Morrison recalls Amari Patrick and Harry Buterman to his starting lineup, and Harry Smith replaces Lee Angle up front. Phil Parkinson responds to Wrexham's poor run with the change at his forward line. Jack Marriott makes his full debut for the club, partnering Stephen Fletcher. Wrexham in the uh, black strip. Looking here with confidence against one of the struggling sides, despite their recent fun of run of form, but they've given the ball away there, and Amari Patrick can get a shot on target, which is dealt with by Arthur Conquo. But an early scare for Wrexham largely of their own creation and they still haven't really got the ball away it's up in the air rather than any distance on it Sanderson trying to keep it alive for Sutton in the end it does dribble behind but it is a corner it was chaotic defending from Wrexham and Amari Patrick looking to shake the shot Conquo did well to keep it out Sutton have the corner big men are forward Kizzy amongst them bounced off the crossbar from the corner delivery in it comes and it did in fact Sutton have created the early threat in this game long throw into the mixer again Lakin trying to control it on the edge of the box can't do so and now Rexon can break forward with Lee perhaps but Sutton are so hungry and have won it back and the shot comes in straight at the goalkeeper Lakin turning and hitting it first time Sutton very much the more adventurous, the more creative side early on. Wrexham still struggling for form. Here's the experience of Stephen Fletcher trying to create something. Here's Marriott, his first start for the club. His cross is cut out, hacked downfield by Lakin. Harry Smith will give chase for Sutton and he's uh, got the better of O'Connell there. And then in the end, Smith is brought down and it will be a free kick to the home side. stretch defensively chance for the Sutton big man to get forward again and it comes towards the penalty area and it goes up but not on target Joe Kizzy I think it was who made the final contact drifted over the crossbar with the header Nixon have ridden their luck a little bit in this first half but can they create something of their own now Bolton into the penalty area, neat work by Bolton, Fletcher looks to help it on and it's come to Will Boyle and would you believe it, in stoppage time at the end of the first half in which they've been emphatically second best, Wrexham take the lead and it's Will Boyle up from the back, back in the side tonight after suspension who gets the opening goal, Luke Bolton did well, Fletcher with just a little touch there and it found its way to Boyle who stabbed it into the net and Wrexham are one up here. Wrexham's lead They're against the runner play, a real sucker punch at the end of the first half. Sutton will need to respond. Eastman, who's came on the field for Buterman just before half time, is Adam Malachi! A fearsome strike and Okonkwo got a hand to it but it wasn't behind and in the end the defenders had to clear it. The clearance is completed in the end by Andy Cannon. That was a bullet strike. And Nino Adamalakai. Okonkwo got a hand to it but it had to be tidied up by the defenders behind him. Sutton once again looking dangerous. Amari Patrick delivers it in. Okonkwo got a touch to it and then surely that's hit a hand. James McLean the defender Eastman's effort is over the crossbar and now the Sutton players surround referee Daniel Middleton. They believe there was a handball there. The ball was delivered in, it was fired back in by Kizzy and surely that has struck the hand of James McLean before Eastman blazed it over the crossbar. Sutton feeling aggrieved, still looking to create the opportunity for an equaliser. Elliot Lee gets up well to head it away, Lakin. Adam Malachi delivers it in again. It's helped on its way by Sanderson, but no real power. 
An easy gather for the keeper. He's in a little bit of room, but couldn't really get any purchase on the effort. Pizanis thumps it downfield for Sutton again. Can't win the first header. Eastman is looking to break forward, and he's uh, caught in a sandwich there between McLean and Lee. And it's a free kick on the edge of the D for Sutton. Eastman looking to drive forward, definitely brought down. There's an opportunity for the home side. Looks like it'll be Lake in, and it takes a deflection. A conquo is wrong footed, and Sutton are level. And you have to say, on their performance, they deserve to be back on terms, even if the goal does come with a little stroke of good fortune. Charlie Lakin's free kick, taking a deflection off Owen O'Connell. And into the net, no chance for a conquo. And it's 1-1. Playing with the throw, Paul Rexon. Gets it back again. O'Connell. Sutton really chasing hard, working hard to win possession back, but Sanderson has caught Cannon there. And the referee calls Wrexham a free kick, and it's a booking for the Sutton player. And the Cannon sent flying by that challenge. So, Wrexham have the free kick. Chance to get the men forward, and it comes again. It's not dealt with, it's come on the way out, lofted back in towards the back of the penalty area. The keeper doesn't gather it. Somehow it stays out, find its way to McLean, his shot is blocked. Well, the free kick was delivered to the back of the penalty area and then lofted back in by Boyle towards the back post. And it's glanced off the crossbar, I think, before Sutton get it away. Patrick, looking to get the cross in and does so. Wrexham head gets it clear. And now the visitors can break forward. Paul Mullen getting forward, here's Palmer, the two substitutes combining. Now Bolton could break forward, full of running, and he's picked out Palmer! Shot on target is dealt with by Bozanis, but that's better from Wrexham. Worked the opportunity neatly for Palmer, but the substitute couldn't beat Bozanis. Good spell of pressure this from Wrexham, O'Connell venturing forward for the visitors, Elliot Lee, Bolton. Stabs it forward for Lee again! And there it is, it's been coming. Wrexham take the lead again. Their leading scorer is on target once more. Elliot Lee with the goal, which could end Wrexham's losing streak. They build up ahead of steam, some good pressure. Bolton once again, who's had a really good evening, stabbed it forward. Lee was onto it first time. No chance for Busanis. And Wrexham are back in front. Huge frustration for the home team who've worked so hard. Is there time for Sutton to find a second equaliser in this game? Patrick. Eastman tries to keep it aligned. Kizzy is, is still there. But now Wrexham can break forward with Lee. And that's cut out, but they haven't dealt with it. Cannon goes flying again. But Elliot Lee is charging through the middle, he's unmarked, surely to wrap it up. Can't beat Busanis, fine save. Well, that was Wrexham's opportunity to make absolutely sure on the break. Elliot Lee has already scored once, but he couldn't beat Busanis to make sure of the three points. Forward from Kizzy, now or never for Sutton. Lee Angle try, can't control it, it's hacked away by Wrexham. And there is the final whistle. Wrexham's losing streak is over, Phil Parkinson's side can celebrate a win that they really needed. He doesn't seem terribly happy about it as he uh, berates the referee, Mr Middleton. But the truth is Wrexham will go away with the points and it's harsh on Sutton who worked so hard despite their lowly position in the table that they couldn't find a way to equalise Elliot Lee's winner. It's finished Sutton 1, Wrexham 2.